You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. Jason Isbell and the 400 unit perform live on Sunday evening at the Appalachian Wireless Arena in downtown Pikeville. Along with their musical offerings, Isbell and his bandmates wanted to bring a little bit of hope and support to our region as proceeds from their show will go directly to help the storm victims in western Kentucky. Earlier, we caught up with Josh Kessler, Senior Sales and Marketing Director for the Appalachian Wireless Arena, for more information on this event. Howdy folks, thank you so much for coming to the show. We're so happy to be here. I'm Jason Isbell, we're the 400 unit, we're from Muscle Shoals, Alabama for the most part. We hope y'all have a great time tonight. Although attendance was somewhat limited due to Isbell and Company's well-known COVID restrictions, those fans who were in attendance appeared thrilled given the energetic performances by the 400 unit as well as opening act country music artist Morgan Wade. Kessler states that even with the band's elevated COVID restrictions, both performances went off without a hitch. Well, Jason Isbell was last night it went very well. I think everything was very relaxed. Uh, it was our first show that had the vaccine restriction. So what the, the only way the folks could enter was if they had proof of their vaccine, they had the shot, or they had a doctor's note saying why they couldn't take the shot. So that was our first with that, and I feel like everyone did really well with it. Uh, the event staff, the uh, just the staff in general, everyone handled it well, um, and it was it was a fun show. Jason really did well here, and he he performed well. People said it was one of the best shows they've seen with Jason, so it was a, a really good show. Of course, Morgan Wade, she's a, a tremendous talent, and she was the opener, so can't go wrong with that. The most significant news to come out as a result of this performance, however, occurred a day earlier as Isbell and Company announced that a portion of the proceeds from the show would go directly to help aid victims and recovery efforts after the recent storms which ravaged large areas of western Kentucky. Kessler mentioned that while the arena staff is still currently working to determine precisely how much will be going to aid these victims, they are excited to be part of this charitable process. Jason's going to donate part of the proceeds of that event to the uh, tornado victims in western Kentucky. So that's a really nice gesture from Jason and uh, the 400 unit. So uh, we're really excited for that. We'll have numbers soon once all the extra settlement takes place, but uh, really excited to see what, what gets to go to western Kentucky. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joshua Sloan.